So good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on uh, the sixth part of the series we have uh, called Yes to Consciousness. And the topic for today is uh, the image, the, the image you think is you. And actually, what do we mean by that? And if you are here, I'm pretty sure you have uh, some awareness about the topic. Like, in which many ways do we use an image uh, when we show up in the world? And actually, in, in which many ways do we lie to ourselves that this is who we are? Like, you look into the mirror, you look into the friend's eyes, you see your friends, you see people around you, you meet people, and then you say, this is who I am, and this is how I act. Like, you have to like me as who I am, you, you know me for many, many years. This is how I be every day, every time in any situation. This is how I be with my parents, with my partner, with my children, at the workplace. So what have you decided about who you are? And when we talk about this is an image, um, what we mean by it's something that we tell to ourselves. This is something that we sort of like keep uh, maintaining and uh, making it as a contracted uh, reality. So everywhere where you function from the point of view that this is who you are, this is uh, the space I should function from, will you destroy and uncreate all that? Everywhere where you bought into the idea that you have to sort of like solidify who you are, you have to solidify your character, your personality, we destroy and uncreate all that for all eternity. Everywhere where your parents told you that you have to take a side, you have to choose a side, you sort of like, you have to um, sort of like stick to who you are, because if not, then people will not know that what happened to you. Like uh, you have to have good manners, you have to be nice, you have to be kind, you have to follow certain rules, you have to be like this or that in order to fit into the social expectations. And everywhere where you follow the people's expectations, everywhere you decided you have to fit into anyone's expectations and projections, <clears throat> will you now destroy and uncreate all that for all eternity? <clears throat> And also, will you now return it back to the sender? So all the projections about who you are, all the projections that, let's say, your family members were putting on you as a burden that, oh, you are totally like your mother. Um, you are just like smiling as your mother. You are acting like your mother. You are sort of like kind as your mother, or you are mm, aggressive like your father or you are lazy, like your grandparents were. And all these points of view, like who are you and how, how people see you, that you made vital, valuable, and real about yourself. So all these judgments and expectations, will you now this turn on create and return back to the sender? And when we are doing this, like you, you can have your own uh, awareness your own story about what was told about you, what did these family members or friends or anyone in the family um, telling you when they were looking into your face. So everywhere where they were so sort of like telling you, let's say a lie, or they were telling you their expectation and their projection, just be present with it. Maybe you remember that, Maybe you don't even remember some of that because um, you were even in the womb of your mother and the grandparents were already projecting on you or friends were projecting on you. Oh, this is going to be a baby just like the mom. This baby is going to be just like the father. This baby is going to be just like me or her or, or anyone else in the family. So maybe you never heard it physically with your ears but the energy, the vibration is in the space. It was also logged into your body, into your reality, physically or energetically. 
So anywhere where, it, where anything it brings up for you, that there is an image that was projected on you, or there was a characteristic, a personality that somehow was told to you, put on you, forced on you, or you were uh, pressurized into a box of who you are, what is your personality, whether it was told to you or just suggested to you or other people were telling it about you and, it be and you became aware of it. Just allow yourself to sense all of that. Whichever part happened in this reality, in this lifetime, whichever part happened in a previous lifetime, just allow yourself to be fully present with that whether you just sense the energy or maybe you've heard it anytime. And uh, will you now, being present with that, and again, just say it, now I destroy and uncreate all of that, each and every moment, each and every situation when it was told about me, when these expectations and projections were told to me and about me, about my personality, about my characteristic, about who I am and how I act, what they expected, how I should act, in which way I should show up in the world. So will you now destroy and uncreate all of that and return it back to each and every person, anyone, anywhere in the world, whether they still alive or passed away, will you now return it back to them for all eternity? And maybe you have any kind of bodily sensation. So you can even place your hands on that part of your body and run the clearing again. And run the clearing until you sense that the energy of that, that sensation in the body starts to dissipate. So everywhere I decided this is who I am, everywhere I decided this is the way I should act, Everywhere I bought into that, in which ways I'm going to be. And actually everything I sense and everything I logged into this part of my body, now I destroy and uncreate all that and return back to the sender. Right and wrong, good and bad, good and poor, all nine shorts, boys, boards and beyonds. You know, this is the access clearing statement. Hopefully you've heard that before sometime. And uh, welcome everyone in the French side as well. Um, okay, so who you are if you are not the image that you think is you. So everywhere where you made yourself equal to that image, will you now destroy and create all that? Can you be someone else? Can you act differently? Can you show up differently? Can you choose? something different that is not matching that image or any um, any characteristics that was made vital valuable and real about you and anywhere where you gave power over you to these family members to these people whoever was uh, projecting on you so will you now destroy and uncreate all that everywhere where it was loyalty like i'm loyal to my parents i'm loyal to my ancestors. I'm loyal to the people who are older than me. I'm loyal to the people who have a higher position than me. I'm loyal to the people who are um, smarter or more knowledgeable than me, who have uh, higher degrees than me. I'm loyal to the people who have, let's say, wearing a white robe like doctors or priests or whichever or nuns. So everything it brings up for you that who you should follow or who are the people that you should hand over your power or you can allow them to control your reality and your personality because they know it better. You know, they are older, they seen much more than you, therefore they should know it better. So whatever they say is not a judgment, but it's an awareness, it should be true. And will you now destroy and create all that? So everywhere in the world where you mixed up or made equal your awareness with judgment, 
play this trend on create all that. Everywhere where you made other people's judgments, points of view, or awareness more valuable than your own, play this trend on create all that too. All the messages, all the teachings, all the rules, regulations, like family rules, that elders or certain people in the family knows it better than you know, will you now this trend on create and return back to the sender. And anything that was sort of like a label or a, yeah, a label or a sign was put on you energetically or any body part of yours, let's say, oh, the ears of this child are just like the grandfather's ears. The, the, the eyebrows of this child is just like the grandmother's eyebrows or the, the mouth or the teeth is belonging to this family member or this child has a terrible manners, just like the father and everything that brings up for you everywhere where they were trying to compare you or match you with someone else or someone else's reality, will you destroy and uncreate it for eternity beyond time and space. And uh, even if you came into the body um, from the same family, let's say you were the great great grandfather of yourself and you just born back into this family and everyone maybe recognize you that oh this child should be the great great grandfather what would you choose now should you follow the same karma and the same life path that you had as a great great grandfather of yourself or would you allow yourself to choose something totally different like should you be treated as the image that they built upon you like from your previous life or are you willing to have no karma no dharma are you willing to have a totally new reality and are you willing to choose it to create your future not based on your past not based on your past life but based on what you choose so everywhere you are you were forced into um as a continuation of a past lifetime, everywhere you were actually mixed up with someone from the ancestors. Let's say you are not the great great grandfather, but the family members, for some reason, they were looking for him to come back into the family. And instead of him, you came into the family. So everywhere they mixed up you with someone else in the family and uh, and they were trying sort of like forcing it on you. Will you now destroy and uncreate all that, eliminate and eradicate it everywhere where you made it true for you? Will you try to fit yourself into it? And will you now return it back to the sender with consciousness attached to it? And you can actually send yourself to each and every family members and everyone who sort of like was uh, comparing you and matching you with, uh, with an image from the past. So you can send who you are energetically and all the different ways to all the family members saying that this is who I am. And you know, when we are talking about connection points and creation points, um, connection point is um, all the points of view and all the experience and past stories of what happened between you and someone else. So actually, if you function from a connection point with your partner, with your friends, with your family, then you function from the past. You function from what happened in the past. So it doesn't create too much. And there are creation points. And the purpose of a creation point, let's say if you have a creation point with your partner, with your husband, with your wife or with, with your parents. The creation point is about what is the future that you desire to create together. You can have creation points with your parents, with your children, with anyone in the world, with your um, workmates as well, with really, with, and with your friends as well. So with anyone. So the creation point has no past. The past, the past experience is not relevant to a creation point because it's all about what you would like to create in the future. Actually, what is your creation point? 
with yourself? What is the future that you would like to create? What is the future you would like to create with your family? What is the future you would like to create with your business? So what is your creation point and allow yourself to start to function from what you choose? In other words, what is your creation point? And uh, everywhere where you were made wrong for being different and you try to please people that you are not different, you try to prove it that you are not different, that you totally fit into this family. And everywhere it comes from, like, uh, from any lifetime when, when you were different than the people, the family, or the tribe was sort of like dismissing you or forcing you out or <clears throat> locking you out from the family, from the tribe, sending you away. You are different. You don't belong to us leave alone and let's say like 500 or 800 years ago or a thousand years ago it was like a death sentence like you know if you don't belong to the tribe you cannot really stay alive alone and everywhere you try to avoid to to be like dismissed or sent away so therefore you rather please to the people please all the people and you try to prove it that you belong to them. So you try to pick up their choices, their reasoning, their justification, their projections about you, and you like force yourself into all those boxes that would match their expectations and projections about you. So it's like, like a command from them. Like if you want to belong to us, if you wish to survive, you need to do as we say, you need to please us, you need to make us happy. And everything that brings up for you and destroy and uncreate all that, and all the promises you made to yourself or to any of these family members, all the oaths, vows, filthies, communities, and secret promises as well, will you now destroy and uncreate all that everywhere and everything you decided about yourself and who you are, who you should be in order to match their expectations, in order to survive, will you now destroy and uncreate and revoke, recount, rescind, reclaim, renounce, denounce for all eternity, beyond time and space and all dimensions. So actually, who are you and who can you be and what can you create if you are not matching anyone's expectations if you can live without the need of a definitions about who you should be because in that case you can choose anything anytime anywhere imagine that you are moving to uh, a foreign country where no one knows you you can have uh, like any kind of image and you can use any kind of image about who you are that would create greater for you and it doesn't have to be solidified. So anytime, anywhere you go, you can pick the most relevant or, the, or that image or that mask that creates the greatest in that situation. And you never have to solidify it. But why should you go to a different country? Like, would you allow yourself to have the freedom to start functioning from consciousness, start functioning from what creates greater, what creates more ease and joy for you, like who you can be and in which way you can uh, show up in that situation in your reality. And everything that you decided that it's not possible because these people know me for long, will you destroy and create all that? Actually, what you can do, because that's true, people would try to pull you back into that. Um, shithole. People will try to make you come back and change back to who you were before, or they try to force that image on you again and again, the image that they expect you to show up as. So to all of these people, and also to all of those people who are kind and caring with you, you can send that who you truly be. Like now you can send yourself to all of them. 
energetically like you know like an email and you don't even have to know who are these people like maybe you know most of them and maybe you don't know everyone there can be people who don't know you yet but they are looking for you because um, you have the energy that would create greater in your life in their life so just send yourself to everyone who is looking for you everyone who is relevant in your life in your future the future that you desire to create because those people are even relevant who want to pull you back because what we would like to do is to not allow any of them to have power over you any longer so you can send them the energy of who you are and what you are choosing and if they don't like it they can go away they can leave if they like it they can stay and they can join you, connect with you through that. Like, this is what I'm choosing. This is who I am. And this is the future I'm going to work towards. So if you are happy to join, feel free to come. It's going to be fun. If not, goodbye. So everything that brings up and everywhere you made yourself wrong, everywhere you feel that you are using or abusing people, like it's not right because you were knowing them or they were knowing you. Maybe these were your friends or parents. So it's not fair to tell them now that you are changing and you desire to be something else or show up as a different person. Um, will you now destroy and uncreate and return back to the sender all these points of view or any connecting points of view that you were using or you are going to use? against yourself, against your choice, and everywhere where it actually belongs to them. You know, there are the distractor implants or of uh, shame, blame, regret, and guilt. So everywhere they are using these four distractor implants against you to put shame into your reality. Like how shameful is that, that now you are turning your face to a different direction. Like be ashamed, and they are blaming you that you are a bad child, you are a bad partner, you are something um, not appropriate if you are acting like this. Because with shame, blame, regret, and guilt, they are trying to like force you back into that image that they expect you to show up and be like. So uh, with the distractor implants, anywhere where it's happens anywhere where they use this against you you can destroy and uncreate all of that or you can also say put and poke all the distractor implants and put and poke so it's going back to the point of destruction the point where i destruct or destroy my reality my awareness my future and also i go back to the point where i was creating this kind of a fake uh, reality that they expect from me. So destroy and uncreate all of that for all eternity, all the distractor implants. And also there is something called the Shikyu implants, that's the S-H-I-C-U-U-U, which is all the secret, hidden, invisible, covered, unseen, untold, and undisclosed or unrecognized um, implants about you, that you are, that you bought into, that you were functioning from. So you destroy and uncreate all of that for all eternity. Because everywhere where you maintain a distractor implant, it is... It is coming from or the source of it is like all the shikyu implants, the secret, hidden, invisible, covered, unseen, untold, un undisclosed um, points of view and implants. So anything that shikyu about you will you now destroy and uncreate all that for all eternity. Because through this, they are trying to pull you back and trying to keep you wrong. And, and sort of like, you know, when you made wrong by others, then you, you try to uh, sort of like protect yourself, you try to save yourself and you try to prove 
that they are wrong and you are right. And this is like an endless situation. So there is no resolution because they keep staying in their point of view and they keep blaming you. So everywhere where people are blaming you or making you wrong, um, what you can do is go into a question, the functioning from question, like what have I decided uh, about me? What have I decided about who I am? And what have I decided about the future that is right for me? <laughs> like what have I bought into about uh, the future that they expect me to live and function from? And will you now destroy and create all of that? and revoke, recant, rescind, reclaim, renounce, denounce for all eternity, all the decisions, all the secret agenda, all the promises, oaths, vows, filthies, communities, and, and uh, blood oaths as well, that you were functioning from and that you made to function from as the image you are. So do you still have any bodily sensations? If you still have any bodily sensations about the image you think is you, any bodily sensations about what was projected on you, what were the expectations about your behavior, your manners, how you should show up in any situation, what is the right way for an adult, what is the right way for a child, what is the right way for a wife or a husband, will you now destroy and create all that, eliminate and eradicate and return back to the sender and through all the senders, like a chain, return it back to the source from wherever it was coming from. And just allow all of that to keep dissipating from your body and from your reality. So you can keep your hands on that area of your body and uh, let the clearing run until or as long it is running. And actually, is there anyone having any questions? And you can uh, type in your questions or you can unmute yourself as well. And if not, then uh, if yes, please unmute yourself. If not, cool. Um, what have you decided about the future that now you can create? Are you allowed to create any future or are you keep uh, going back to the examples of the past? Are you keep going back to your experience from the past? Are you keep going back from the story of your past, whether it was yours or someone else's from the family? And everything you decided about that it has to be a continuation of your past, like it, it is like, there was a path that you were walking in the past as your life passed. And in the present, you, you are still the continuation of your past. Therefore, you have to keep walking on, those, on this one in the future. Everything that it brings up for you, will you now destroy and uncreate and return back to the sender? And who can you be and what can you create if you let, let it all go? If you return all of that back to the sender and you can say, what could I return back because it's my life? So everywhere you decided it's your life and actually it wasn't yours, like everywhere you were living someone else's life or someone else's expectations about you, will you destroy and uncreate all that? Like who can you be and how can you act as a mother? Who can you be and how can you act as a brother, as a sister, as a father? As, as anyone that, as the, as, the, as the daughter or the son of your parents. Like what should be your life path? What do they expect from you? 
like how you should act in each and every situation based on their expectations. And everywhere where it's not relevant to you anymore, everywhere where it's not a contribution to you anymore, do you now destroy and uncreate all that and return back to the sender? And actually everywhere where uh, your life could be much greater, if you choose, everywhere where um, you are aware of a much greater possibility, are you willing to have that? <clears throat> so, all the different ways you still um, sense any energy from your past and any energetic uh, imprints or implants activate, being activated in your body. Just keep running the clearing. So will you destroy and uncreate all that and keep your hands on that area of the body and just allow it to keep clearing, keep dissipating from the body. Like all the energetic and magnetic uh, and electric imprints and actually it's still active in the body. And everywhere where there is such um, like an amalgamation built like into the physical structure of your body, will you now destroy and create and go to the source field of that amalgamation and eliminate and eradicate all of that for the structure of your body and everywhere where, you, where it was amalgamated into your energetic systems, all these expectations or projections are on you, will you again eliminate and eradicate all of that for all eternity beyond time and space and all dimensions. And everywhere where there was any spiritual, magical uh, kind of uh, curse or a spell put on you, so this thing will be with you forever and everywhere where actually you made it to yourself or you implanted it or amalgamated it into your reality, into your body, where you destroy and uncreate all that and revoke, recount, rescind, reclaim, renounce, denounce all the spells, curses and magical implantations as well, whether it was made by you or made by anyone else, because no one else could put it on you without your intention, without your agreement. And now the, is the time to break these agreements, intentions, um, and, and acceptations and confirmations. So right and wrong, good and bad, put and poke, all nine shorts, boys, what's and beyond. Cool. So you can ask the question, what's right about me that I'm not getting? Of course, what's right about my past I'm not getting? What's right about my parents I'm not getting? What's right about my parents' point of view about me that I'm not getting? What it means that, what have I decided about myself? What have I decided about my parents? What have I decided about my manners? my behavior, what have I decided about the right behavior, how I should act properly in any situation. And everything of that will you destroy and uncreate and return back to the sender for all eternity. And as well, what is your awareness that is um, connected with a lie or attached with a lie? And everywhere you function from that and everywhere it doesn't make any sense. And everywhere where actually you bought into it, it makes sense. But actually there is a truth with a lie attached to it. Therefore, it it's really sticks to you. So all the lies, whether you know that or not, or any clarity you have about it or not yet. So all the lies attached to what image you should buy into or you should show up as, Will you now destroy and uncreate all that and return back to the sender? 
return back to everyone that was projecting or giving you that lie about you, about why you should do it, how you should do it, or what's the reason and what's the purpose of showing up in a certain way. And actually everywhere where you made your own awareness about yourself as a wrongness, will you now this turn on create all that too and return back to the sender. And now what is the future that you can create? What is the relationship that you can create? What is the relationship with your body, with your financial reality, uh, with your health, and with the future that you desire to have? Like everywhere you made the future you desire to have as a wrongness. Everywhere you were blaming yourself. Everywhere where anyone was blaming you for desi desiring an impossible future, or desiring a not right, not wrong future, whether it was not right or not wrong, whether it was good or bad. So we destroy and create and return back to the sender. And what can you choose now and what can you be now? Who can you be and how can you show up? in which many ways you can show up in all the different situations. And what if you don't have to solidify it? What if you don't have to make a decision now that how you should show up in the future, but you just allow yourself to show up in any way you desire to be, in any way that would create greater in your future? Like how could you show up in a business meeting It's like a free for all decision. So you can decide it in that very moment what will create greater, how you should show up in, uh, in your relationship or with your children or with your parents. It's again, you are free to decide it in each and every moment, in each and every situation based on what creates greater for you. And are you allowed to express what you desire to live and create as your future. Again, it's up to you in which way you do it and when you do it, to whom you express it, whether you should express it or you, or it's not relevant at all. So each and every situation in the future in your life is totally and entirely under your control you are the one in charge in your life. You can even tell yourself that one thing is that I don't like you can't really change your past. So everywhere you were trying to prove that what you did in the past was not wrong. Everywhere where you're trying to prove that you are not what they projected on you that you are. Like you are not a bad daughter, you are not a good daughter, you are not a bad wife or a good wife or a bad mother or a good mother or a father or a sister or brother. But you can be anything and anyone you desire to be for all eternity. Like everywhere you were always made wrong and was forced to prove that you are loyal to them and you will follow them. So now you can tell yourself, whatever I have done in the past, I'm, I'm taking it, I did it. Even if it was other people who were forcing on it, forcing on you, cool. I bought into it, I did it. This is what I have done and I know what I have done. It's my life. And from now on, Again, I am the one who is doing everything. And I'm responsible for my actions and who I be. And I'm choosing to create what creates greater for me. I'm choosing to fulfill all my dreams. And I'm totally free to do it. And I will get what I will do. So 
The purpose of this is everywhere where we made ourselves wrong and everywhere where we made all these people wrong and everywhere where we made the whole world wrong, that I'm sort of like fighting against the world and I can't keep fighting with everyone because no one would ex accept me who I am or no one would agree me or those people who matters to me, they are not agreeing to the image that I'm truly be. There is no point to keep fighting and keep proving you are who you are and what is right for you is entirely right for you. This is what's true for you. And allow yourself that you don't have to fight. And if you, if you can finally give up the fight, it will allow you to entirely have the power for your future. Like how much, how much power and energy you were investing into the fight of proving who you are and who you are not, how much power you were investing into pleasing people to make sure that they are not hating you or they will be kind to you or they would like support you. And what if you could put all this energy and power into the future that you desire to have? So first of all, Let's take it that what we created so far as our life, what is our life as of today, it is what we have done and what we were choosing consciously or unconsciously. So there is nothing to worry about and there is nothing to fight against and there is nothing to make wrong about our past, present and future. So we can end the fight right now and the fight against these images, against these projections. We can end the fear and the doubt whether people would take us as who we are. Do you really need anyone to agree to who you are? Or are you willing to finally step up and have the power to be who you truly be and start to create the future that you desire to have? that you know is available for you. And just allow that future to, to show up for you. Allow the energy of that future to be part of who you are, to be part of your reality. So everywhere where you were sort of like mm, contracting your reality, so the future that you were desiring to have was outside of your reality. So it was impossible to reach. So just expand your reality so it would include the future you desire and allow that future to be organically and entirely be part of your whole reality. Now it is inside your whole reality. So just keep expanding your space. So all the dreams you desire to create are now included in that space. So now you are free to desire anything that would be so magical, so unbelievable, and so beyond that you would never try to even imagine that. So what is the future that now you can have? And just allow your whole body and your whole being to have that with no regrets. Just keep expanding and having all that reality and all the power, all the energy, all the skills, all the information, knowledge, the consciousness required for that is also included in this space and you have total access to that and allow yourself to, to be present with all of that and own all the skills, capacities, and power, and energy, and consciousness that's required to make happen, to create and actualize the future that you desire to have. And you can do this exercise anytime during the day, and as many times during the day that you desire, as many times the energy of that future comes up for you, and just allow yourself to spend time in that energy. 
and the energy of the future that you would like to have, whatever is that. Because now is the time to create it. There is no need to wait longer. And thank you so much for joining us. I'm so grateful for everyone making it happen, all the translators and all of you showing up. And uh, hope to see you next time. And we will send out the recordings to everyone. Thank you so much and uh, have an amazing weekend. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Ahoy, Karolinko, děkujem. Chvala, thank you. Chvala, thank you. Merci, danke. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Shukaran. Shukaran. <laughs>